Hello everybody, welcome back to Pussy Beauty. Today I have a from not to hot kind of um, video tutorial which is a full face makeup and my eyes I'm using the Naked 3 uh, palette by Urban Decay and I'm very excited about this palette. This is the kind of palette that the moment you get you fall in love with it and you know what to do with it because it's so easy and it's so intuitively easy to use that it's amazing. Anyway, so this is just a, a regular eye makeup and a face makeup, so if you'd like to see how I did this, stay tuned. First I'm going to start by priming my face and I'm using Benefit's Professional uh, Primer. I'm just applying that with my fingers all over the face, smoothing it out, making a nice canvas for our foundation. Then I'm going to use my Makeup Forever HD foundation. My shade is a 123 and I'm using a Sigma um, buffing brush. To apply that so I just usually dot it all over my face all over the forehead this is a foundation that doesn't dry very quickly so you have some time to work with it and then I just buff it into the face um, blending very nicely making sure you get your neck and your uh, jawline so you don't see any harsh transition um, and I usually like to keep it very light then I'm, I'm touching some blemishes with my studio finish concealer by Mac my shade is NC30 for contour and bronzer, I'm using my uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I'm using a very precise contour brush here by Sigma, and then I'm, I'm brushing and blending it out with a fluffy powder brush just to make it more natural. You want to blend this very well so it, it looks marked as a contour, but it doesn't look very harsh. And then I usually bring it back up on the uh, hairline. And I'm doing the same thing here on the other side, applying very harshly like that and then I blend it with a big powder brush just to make it more natural. And I like to bring it down up on the hairline and down on my jaws, my neck. Next I'm applying my blush and I'm using my Rock Tour by Benefit. As I mentioned before, I'm, I am loving this blush. I think it's one of the most natural, beautiful glows you can probably get. Love, love this blush. And I'm just using an F30, F40 by Sigma. Next, I'm just doing my, my brows very quickly, brushing them through and filling in just a few gaps that I have. I don't like to fill in my brows too heavily because I feel like it doesn't feel very natural and doesn't look very natural. So I'm just using a uh, brow pencil brush by Sigma. I'm not, uh, by NYX actually. Now on to the eyes. I'm going to start with this Jordana pencil eyeshadow pencil if you like an almond and I'm just going to blend that with a precision Sigma brush just to blend it all over the lid and neutralize the shades. I'm using a fluffy brush here and I'm going in the shade Limit and just applying on the crease very lightly. With the, a smaller blending brush I'm going in the shade Nooner and I'm intensifying the crease color a little bit more. Nooner is also a matte nice brown shade. Um, it's a very nice color for the for the crease. Then I'm going into factory and I'm intensifying the outer corner and as you can tell here I forgot to put my tape earlier on so I did that now. <laughs> and then with the fluffy bit blending brush I'm just blending all the colors on the crease just to look nice and transition well. With a small little brush I'm applying the shade Black Heart all the way at the very very end of the outer corner just to really intensify that outer corner. And then with, with the blending brush I'm blending that again just so it doesn't look harsh. With the shading brush I'm going into the shade Burnout and I'm applying this all over the lid on the inner third and then to, all the way to the middle and then with that you know, applying intensifying that color all over the lid, all the way in the inner corner. And then with that small little brush again, I'm going back on the black heart shade and re-intensifying that outer V and blending it to make sure it looks nice. Then with the with the shade strange, I'm just applying that on the brow bone just to really um, highlight that area a little bit. Removing the tape. And then with a small, a small little blending brush, I'm just uh, blending the line there so it doesn't look like a harsh line. And then I'm getting my blending brush again and doing one more blending through just to make sure everything looks nice and smooth and it's a nice transition. 
With a smudging brush, I'm going into the Nooner shade and I'm applying that first all over the uh, bottom lash line and smudging it out. And then I'm going into the shade Trick, which is a gold shade, and I'm applying that underneath Nooner just to give you a little bit of sparkle there. And then lastly, I'm going back on the black heart and I'm intensifying the very outer part of the lower lash line with that little smudger brush. Now I'm applying my gel liner with the little Sigma brow brush. That's one of the best brushes for eyeliner in my opinion. I'm just going in and winging it out right at the end there as you can see. And you know, typical eyeliner application, however you like to do this, it's fine. Going all the way in, slowly but surely. Now I'm lining the inner rim on the lower lash line with some cold pencil. I'm, apply, I'm gonna go to apply my cher red cherry uh, 747 lashes, and here they are. This is kind of quick. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply a couple dots of concealer under my eye just to clean up any fallout that may have happened and just to kind of brighten up that area a little bit. As you noticed before, I didn't do the concealer under the eye. Very lightly. Next on the lips, some burgundy lip gloss. And here you have some close-up shots of the final eye look. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and leave me comments below if you have any questions. And thumb me up too. I'll see you next time. Bye.